Good morning, we've got face to face Sarah today just to show you a few things. It's very difficult to actually show you properly, so I needed to sort of tell you what was going off before I actually showed you. This is vintage toy collection, really. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to a toy fair on Sunday. Amazing, over 400 stalls. You think, yeah, but unfortunately, if you wanted dolls or anything doll related or anything like that, there was about five. <laughs> so after that, Okay, I know it, yeah, there's more train collectors out there perhaps. I don't know. This is what it indicates when you go to these toy fairs. It's predominantly trains and cars and items like that. But you are getting the odd doll collector's items out there. So it's quite nice. There's one particular stall I've been to before. And she certainly had some goodies. So that was okay. But I really did struggle a little bit to find things. But I'm more than happy with what I've got. So these are, I say, vintage type toys, vintage retro whatever you want to call them, but I wanted to just share them with you, but it was really hard to sort of show you. So I'm going to try and hold some of it up and then we're going to look at it top down if you would like to have a look, of course. So we're going to go with the Cindy thing. I was desperate to find something for Cindy and I didn't think I went around twice, couldn't see anything. Then all of a sudden I did see a stall, which did, was not doll related at all, but at the back of the stall, I saw this box. Da -da. Now, if you've seen one of my previous videos where I got the caravan and I kept joking when I took the photos, I got no car, so they weren't going anywhere. So when I saw this, I just had to get it. First of all, I thought it was maybe just the box, so I thought I had to check. So the person did get all the details out to show me. So we're going to have a proper look at them, but I do know everything is in there. And I was really pleased I got this for £15, which looking on eBay, I thought was quite a good price. I was a bit scared to ask because the problem is with these stores, they don't put prices on. I'm sure they'd actually get more sales if the prices were on, because I think sometimes people are a little bit scared to go up and ask. Uh, and toy prices are, well, the vintage ones particularly, are going up massively at the moment. And a couple of times I loitered to hear somebody else ask rather than dare ask myself. And I'm glad I did. Some of the prices were quite scary because there were some Cindy's there. But there was nothing that I went, oh, I have to have to go with my collection. And I really have to feel what I'm buying. So I didn't bother. But some of the prices, I was like, ooh, well, yeah, it's okay. But do I want to pay that much for something that's okay? So there were a few Cindy things, not a lot. Uh, I did get the impression from one store holder that I had missed out on Pippa stuff really early in the morning. We didn't get there. I think we got there about quarter to 11. And that was only like about 15, 20 minutes into the fair. But obviously people are there at the door straight in and got on board. So I was a bit, mm, a little bit sad, but I still think I got a, a gorgeous Cindy item there. Got some great photos to come with this. I'm going to be taking them up to the allotment with the caravan because I think there's some nice sort of grassy areas there and we're going to get some photos took. So I'm looking forward to doing those. So well worth it, even if I'd only got that. And at that point, this is all I thought I was going to get. Now, I mentioned I went to a store that I've bought from before, and in the past she has had Cindy stuff, so I was like, ooh. She did have Cindy stuff, but the more modern, which I think is very pretty, but it is not the style I collect. So I was like, okay, she's all right, they were good prices. So if you did collect that type of Cindy, you were getting them for a good price. Um, and because I was with my son and his girlfriend, they were rummaging through another box and pulled out some Barbie items. Now, I have a confession to make. I say, I don't collect Barbies. Bit by bit, yes, I collect Barbies. So my confession is, I do. I am a Barbie collector as well as a collector of other dolls. I'm just watching myself on this video and my voice does not seem to be going with my mouth. So I hope when I've done this, after all sort of messing about I've been doing this morning to try and get the angle right, that it's actually working. There's definitely like a delayed thing. I look like I've been dubbed or something like that. Very weird. So just a very brief look at these Barbies. As I said, I don't usually, but yeah, I'm caving bit by bit. There's more and more Barbies that I do like. Now, this is the first one that they pulled out. We have a holiday Barbie. And then I went, oh, she's quite pretty. She's in a green dress. I love green. Um, and then they went, oh, but look, there's another one. And then I went, oh, I really like icy looks and snowy looks. So I was like, which one, which one? And then I saw... They were £12 each. Now, it's weird because they're not in the boxes, but they are in the boxes, if that makes sense. They are actually still attached in a lot of places, but clearly perhaps the outer box had been damaged at some point. Um, so 
they've ended up just in the inner casing but i'm not bothered because like i say i'm not a box collector but i do think they are rather cute look at those pretty faces so we're gonna have a proper look at them definitely top down because i need to get them out of the packaging because you can't see them properly in all this sort of plastic so that was it i saw that and i'm like yeah that's great I'll, I'll take those offer for £12 each but then around the corner there was another box on the floor now I don't think I'm going to be able to hold this one up I will try but I don't want to drop everything so we have can you see like I said we'll have a proper look in a minute doll's house furniture from vintage to modern now there was a price of £20 on the box and I'm like what for all of it so I'm like, well, have a look. And so I added it. I asked, I dared to ask. And she says, yes, it's the whole box. Now, I know there's a couple of bits in there that got bits missing and things like that. But I really decided £20 was worth the go because I do have a, another room box. You can see there's a spare space just up there. Um, that is going to be a witch's sort of Halloween room box when I get it done. I've got some Halloween furniture, well, witch's furniture, sort of all black and things like that made but I need to get that done because I'm hoping to be able to take that one to Dolly Con so it's a lot of work to do all it is at the moment is MDF sheets there's a lot of work to do so some of this furniture I'm going to be painting and renovating so it didn't matter if some of it was broken but there's some really nice goodies in there that I won't be painting as well but again I can show you that in a minute so this was here for £20 the Barbies were on for £12 each and I was still happy to pay that so I took all three to her and this stall holder she was absolutely lovely she looked at what I got and she added them up and said well let's see what we can do for you so she says 35 pound for the lot and I went okay thank you that is brilliant I'm, I'm too, I don't ask I'm really rubbish at that so I won't ask myself but so I ended up getting one of these almost free so definitely bargain of the day was the Barbie so that's if I said that was the one I got cheap but um I was really really impressed with that so we have two Barbies we have a box of doll's house furniture and we have our Cindy buggy and tent. The tent is in there. I've not tried it, so I, I'm hoping it's okay. Everything look, else looks okay in there, so I'm hoping that that is going to be fine. So we'll look at that in a minute. So that, I thought that was the easiest way to introduce the items. Um, let's have a look at what we've actually got. Which shall I start with? What shall I start with? Barbie, perhaps? Barbie? Okay, I will see you in a second. Let's just pause that. Hi, back with the actual opening of these Barbies. So we are going to start with Barbie first. Now, as you can see, I paid £12. I've had a quick look because I wasn't sure, as I say. I've only really just started collecting a few Barbies. And apparently 1999 was the holiday year that she was created. If I'm wrong, please let me know because I really do not know a lot about Barbies at all. I'm just going to rip into this. You can actually see it says withstand but no shoes, but there are some shoes attached to the front. That's another thing. But then I thought the lady had said there was shoes, so I'm a bit confused. So we'll wait and see till we get in here. So let's just rip this open. Let's just get her out of this awful plastic bag. Or not, she doesn't want to come out. There we go. Right, now let's have a look. Yes, she doesn't have any shoes on. Uh, I don't think we need this particular plastic. It is absolutely full you can tell it's aged because it's full of wires and pieces of good knows what in fact we'll I might have to leave that under a skirt for now but the skirt it looks okay it doesn't look like there's any damage it has clearly been stitched into the box at some point she has this gorgeous detail on here i just love the green velvet i think that was it so we're going to turn her over and we'll see in fact we might be able to undo that i think this one might have come out because this tape isn't sort of what you would get is it you wouldn't sort of get uh, masking tape on the back of things right there's nothing there i think i was just holding the box together i think i'm hoping she might actually just come out as i said the box is in a state but i don't want it anyway so a little bit for recycling there got a little bit of information i if it just says the age on here no just as happy holidays da, 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 da. i think it was sort of pushed more towards the american market than for us i know it was something i've never seen so that's part of a stand mm, i'm hoping the rest of a stand is in there is it the side of her because there's nothing at the back it would be nice to have the stand because this sort of doll i think does need to be stood up so I will try and undo these as fast as I can. Otherwise, you're going to be here all day with me just undoing one bar one Barbie. Right. 
again we have sort of like a pipe cleaner type of wire there so oh it's gone i didn't think i thought i was turning it the wrong way then right da, 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 da. now i've undone all those so theoretically we should be able to pull all this off we can again i've got to watch out for all these little bits i'm gonna to have to sit and pick them all up as i mentioned before i don't want my cat getting them because she thinks they're fun to play with but obviously they are quite dangerous for her as well so let's get all this out of there you know her hair is remarkably soft because i mean she's going to have been packaged for well quite a few years as i've just said and is any more there that's just the wire that's sort of i wonder if that'll come out now will it come out it looks very uncomfortable for her yes it does but then it is wired around her body so I think, shall we, shall we take it off? I don't think so. She looks like she's in some torture situation at the moment. I presume the other girl's going to be just as difficult to uh, take off. There we go. I'll put that down there and take that off there. And as we'll start from the bottom, bless her, she doesn't have any underwear on. She's, let's have a look at her legs. Do they click their legs? I don't know whether they're meant to or not. They look seem to be pretty fixed, like a rubbery sort of texture. So she has a little overlay underskirt. They just want pulling out. They just wear it, let's hold it in. And the skirt is this, I said, gorgeous green velvet, which seems to be all in very good condition. So her hair is in good condition. It says, it actually says Mattel Inc. 1975. Is that when the actual sort of head sculpt was rather than the doll? 75? That seems really old. Um little little bolero which well it's actually attached to the dress it's not a separate bolero i think we've got a i can't tell whether we've got a slight coloration issue there whether perhaps these sequins have sort of perhaps as i said the box was clearly damaged i wonder if they've got damp or something like that but otherwise she's in great condition i mean just look at that pretty face she's got such a pretty face um little bits of jewelry she's got which are being held on with the plastic and little earrings i think she's very much of her time a little bit sort of gaudy perhaps a little bit of sequin coming off there but that won't take two seconds to see to the arms are fixed in a position but they do move sort of side to side but i think these are really designed for display aren't they they're not designed to be played with although i'm sure there's lots of uh, children out there that thoroughly enjoyed playing with these she's got a little bag there which is held again with one of those sort of pipe cleaners at least they're soft so they're not damaging and she has this little hair bow which is stitched to her head which i will leave i i'm not actually sure what i've bought them, but i'm not 100 sure what i'm going to actually do with them um I think she has to be a display piece so i don't know whether perhaps if i can just tidy her hair up because it feels soft a little bit woolly perhaps that might be the word for it and i do like their faces i think they are really really pretty but most of my dolls are used for photography purposes um rather than just display i don't know she's she's going to be going on the shelf for now but she's not going to be going on her stand is she have i missed that Excuse me while I just bend down to double check, but I have not left it in the plastic. I have. Terrible me. I'm indicating there isn't one. And there is. I should always look at these boxes. I almost lost something uh, from one of my LOL girls for that. I actually put it in the bin and I had to get it out. Right, so we do have our stand and actually a pair of shoes. So shoes were not missing, So because they've got to be the original shoes because they're in this packaging. And she's got a little hairbrush, obviously. We always get a little Barbie hairbrush there. So she has some black shoes as well. So what a bonus. I got two pair of shoes. And obviously the stand clicks in and it just says happy holidays Barbie. So I'm really pleased with her and I'm actually pleased she's got an extra pair of shoes. We'll just stick the other shoes on there. We'll not put her shoes on for now. We'll have a go with the hairbrush in a bit. They're usually a bit harsh on the doll's hair. But let's see what we have with our second girl. Because the second girl, there looks like there's a leaflet in there as well. So... I can't make up my mind which one I like best. I mean, she's got some little little shoes there. Now, this one I've written down 89. Now, again, it was just me sort of rummaging through Google, and I don't know whether that's right or not. So please let me know. Let's keep that leaflet there. Let's, oh, what so have I just dropped? Ah, now this is something I did notice when people were on about it on eBay. It actually came with a special little Barbie 1989 snowflake. 
which is quite cool that might be going on the christmas tree this year so because i know that there are i did notice when i was looking at things which i shouldn't really look because it makes me want more that there are barbie christmas decorations like ornaments they are quite nice but this again they seem to be all in america when you go on ebay so that might be one i've just got to keep an eye out for but it's actually solid plastic it's not like i thought it might have been just a bit of cardboard but it's not it's solid i don't know whether there's a little bit broken there but uh I'm sure it's nothing that a bit of glue can't alter. Yes, I think that little plug there. But yeah, we can just glue that, can't we? So we have a little extra Christmas decoration too. So we've got those really sweet. They're more like a um, pearly looking shoe. And there is a little leaflet. Which I think, I love these catalogues. Because, I mean, I've got a book that's got the boppy stuff in it like this. But I just think it's really, really cool. And... It just shows the eras, the styles, the fashions, um, which I think something, well, most of the dolls, but particularly Barbie, does represent through the ages. So you get all sorts of different designs. So I'm going to have a good look at that in a while when it's nice and quiet. You don't need to, um, unless you wanted to look at that, you let me know if you do. We could have a look. But I think, I suspect you just want to see the dolls. So we're back on here. Now, she's actually got string, well, string cotton here. So I think she's still sort of properly attached in the box. Now, I mustn't forget where the stand is this time. So that's one. The stand is behind the doll. I suppose they've got such big skirts on. It's hiding it. Um, two. And the video is in the wrong direction. But I can actually change that. So I will change it after I've done it. Because, you know, um, sort of portrait landscape sort of thing. It's going in the wrong direction. But I've started undoing it now, so there's not a lot I can do about that. Right, we missed one. Nearly pulled her head off then. Poor thing. We'll just get the scissors on this, I think. Oh, it's coming off anyway. I think the sellotape's that old. It's just, uh, just lifting. It'll save us a job. Right, now I'm going to see if I can actually pull her out of the box. Yep, one, two, three, four. They're all stuck in her hair. We have a little bit of thread that's holding her there. And she was actually out quite quick. Now, again, we're going back to stands. I have that. Now, unless it's hiding... I'm not going to say I haven't got one yet because I said that last time and I had. We have a stand, partial stand, put it that way. So we'll pop that over there. Are you hiding a stand in there in your skirts? I don't think she is. Now, the skirt needs quite a lot of tidying up. Oh, we've got a little bit bent. Again, we've got these. I'll take these out later. You don't need to see me doing that. So again, they don't have underwear. You'd think when, obviously, there was such a big collector's one, they would have. But we have one layer of underskirt we have our second layer well it's actually two layers there's a piece of cotton there holding it together i presume it's meant to be holding it together so i'm not going to undo that and then we've got this lovely sort of iridescent layer here with a fur trim and then we move into the top which is more of a pink but i suppose we think pink barbie but there again then you've got red i i, I don't like pink and red together but that doesn't matter that's just me she got a little little gem necklace there Got this little fur sort of stole, for want of a better word, that sort of tucks in and holds in position because, again, her arms are fixed. And, again, she's for display, so I wouldn't expect anything else. She's a different sort of blonde. I'd say she's a warmer blonde. Again, any Barbie collectors out there, let me know sort of what colour this is sort of counted as. She has quite a bit of head movement, so she would make some quite cool photos. So I am going to do some photos. I'm going to bring her a little bit closer. Now, something I wasn't sure about when I actually got them is there's like this little dot on the nose. And I was a little bit concerned, but I think looking at it now, it will come off. So all in all, I think she is lovely. You turn her over and again, it's just all been folded for a long time. So there's no marks on it. I don't know if that's a mark, a little tiny mark there perhaps. But there's nothing major. I just think it's where it's been stuck in the box because that looks like a bit of a pinky mark. Same as the other side. And the box is red after all. So a little Velcro fastening there for the back. 
the hair let me just have a quick look at that head no it's okay i thought there was something wrong with her head then but there isn't well she got it written on her back she hasn't got anything written on the back of her neck i presume it'll be further down have you got something written on your back all right so that says mattel inc 1966 the year i was born um don't know why it says that because they're clearly very similar or if not the same face sculpts but there must be some reasoning behind that something to do with the body type or what we didn't look at her body actually we said it said that on her head but what does it say on her body yeah 66 please help me with the information because like i say i am not i am a barbie i am not going to say i'm not a barbie collector i am a barbie collector but i am a new barbie collector so it's sort of a little bit strange for me because she's not a doll i had when i was younger it was all uh, cindy for me so they're really pretty girls aren't they so i'm really pleased with them they do seem to be in very good condition i am definitely missing one half of a stand i cannot see it anywhere but not the end of the world and also missing a pair of shoes but she had the spare ones and i do have the little decoration as well as a bonus for her but if you think how much i paid for them i think that's a pretty good deal so we're going to pop these girls to one side i'm not quite sure where because i keep popping things on the floor and there's absolutely no room at all and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop the video now it will carry on for you guys but i'm going to stop it just to pause it to change the angle because you can't change it all it would mess it up so i'm going to change the angle so we can see it from a different direction so i'll see you in a second i'm back and it's actually facing the right way now i, I didn't realize at first but i was suddenly looking for the time and the time was at the side instead of at the bottom and i'm like oh i've done it wrong i've done it so many times and you just don't realize and when you're halfway through especially if it's an unboxing there's not a lot you can do about it so let's get back we are on our cindy now as i say this is my childhood doll she is in quite a nice box as much as i don't keep the boxes i have kept my uh, caravan box and i might keep this one now again if you're my age group you've got the cindy hearts there so you remember collecting them and getting items we have some furnishings here i never got a full kitchen or oh, i didn't get this one but i did get a full bathroom i did have a full bedroom um one of my mum's friends uh got these this set for me but it was a second hand set but i thought it was the best thing ever um i know i've mentioned before quite a few of my cindy's were sort of second hand like that but it made no difference to me they were pre-loved and they would be re-loved so we're going to get in here and have a look whether this is okay it was as far as i could say it was oh and i took it out upside down should have known considering i just turned the box over so we'll take that out then bits oh and i knocked the camera and um, we have some bits and bobs there so the box can go over there because I do want to keep that box. And here we have is the Cindy Buggy. Now, yes, I have not the camera quite a bit. There we go. Back to normal. Um, now, I have seen a few on eBay, but they've had a lot of few, a lot of bits and bobs missing. But I do have the bits and bobs here. All the stickers have completely come off. A little bit of lifting here, but that's only a bit of glue, isn't it? So we do have our steering wheel and we do have our aerial. So it is all there, which is really cool. And here it is. Our wheels are all intact. Everything's nice and solid. We've even got our tow bar for the caravan. So they can get ready for their trip now. So it is really cute. I mean, there's enough space, obviously, to get their feet down there. A little bit of uh, their travelling stuff. Again, a little bit of a lift there, but just a little clean and just a tiny tiny weeny bit of glue there maybe a bit of pva glue might be the best option to keep it down without damaging it but yeah i'm really pleased and this is what it came with because i've been looking at one of these on ebay but i didn't realize that the tent sort of came with it but i've got a tent because it says so on the box so we have some camping gear as well so first of all they have a blow up bed now i've just got to hope this hasn't got a hole in it oh look you blow it up and then she slides in there bear with me a second i shouldn't really do this i should have cleaned it first oh that's <laughs> that was me trying to blow this up it does blow up it has done it there doesn't seem to be any holes but uh, without me making lots of strange noises that's not going to happen but she has she has a little air bed to go in her tent so she's nice and comfortable and then we have the tent 
I really shouldn't have done that. And I'm really not going to do this either. You will see on the photos that if it works or not. Um, I think I need to give this a good clean before I start popping my mouth around it. So we have a little tent. A little sort of tie thing. So she's got like the, the little sort of flaps here. Feels a little bit sticky with glue there. Because I think there has maybe been some glue. So it's going to need a wash. But basically this area blows up and this area, so the tent stands up on its own. Yeah, it is a little bit grubby. I'm really regretting doing that now. Why did I do that? Oh, I'm usually really fussy about things like that as well. Now I'm going to be whittling about that all day. Um, but yeah, it needs a good clean. I think we need soap, soapy, soapy water to give this a good clean because it's slightly rubberized and it does stick sometimes, doesn't it? It's been played with. I knew that. I'm just a bit of a pudding for actually trying to blow one of them up. That does look cleaner than this, though. I suppose that's been inside. This has been outside. So we have a tent, an airbed and a buggy. So our caravan can go on a little trip. But the weather's really rubbish today. We were supposed to be getting a heat wave. I've seen no sign of it thus far. And they've been saying that for a couple of days. So we will see. We're going to be having a camping trip. And like I say, follow me on Instagram. I'll pop some links. Um, I do have a two Instagram pages. I have a smart doll one and a general doll one. So it'll be going on the general doll one. It's just my name is just Sarah Scales if you want to have a look for me. And also you'll see pictures on uh, Facebook as well. So I'm really pleased with that. That is so cool. And it was actually something I was looking for rather than, I know sometimes you go to these things and you buy things and you think, why did I buy that? Because I don't actually need it. But that was actually something I was looking for. So not that one on the floor too. In fact, I'm mentioning the weather. It looks like it's about to rain now. Now, my last little purchase was this box. We'll not go through everything, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what we've got. I mean, obviously, this is more of a modern piece and it is missing a drawer. But I have a little haberdashery shop uh, in 12 scales. So I think I'm just going to take the drawer out completely and maybe put bolts of fabric all the way up so it looks like it's meant to be like that little storage one so it needs a paint though because my actual haberdashery shop is in like a sort of sagey green sort of bit shabby cheeky so this needs to go along with that so that is a modern one a piece missing but it doesn't matter for what i want there's nothing broken the legs are there and everything like that now there is some really old pieces here look at this look it's so cute it's upside down <laughs> it's got a rail the rail is there, so it was upside down. Now, I think, please tell me if I'm wrong, is this a lumbo? I'm not sure. Um, I have some little tiny Ari dolls, um, which are really cute and vintage, and I'm actually eyeing up a Triang doll's house. I don't think I'm going to get it, though, because so many people are watching it. Um, but I'm eyeing it up anyway at the moment. And I want some of the older furniture for it. So that is a really cool piece that I would be keeping. And the same as this. I love these would not get past safety standards now. Look at that. Nails in the bottom. But I don't know. Were children more careful then? I don't know. Or if we just got a little bit more overprotective one or the other i can't ever remember being so particularly dangerous with my toys but there are children that have swallowed things and things like that so you do have to be careful i know my grandson does like to pop things in his mouth um that are not sort of things you should like toys and especially if you get old some barbie things and that and he doesn't actually intentionally do it he might be pretending to drink out of a little cup or something like that but if he's only inhaled and swallowed it we've got a serious problem on our hands so i understand it we do really have to be careful nowadays but i just makes me chuckle when i see the old ones and look how old it is and look how long it's survived there's no nails come out of there perhaps they were just better made more solid made so the nails weren't going to come out so we've got that little sweet little set there another modern bit again draws me in but i think i'll probably just take them out i think that could i haven't I don't know that I've got room in the cafeteria that I've got 12 scale one or it could be the one that's going to be done up and going into our little witch's abode so I could do it all up in black and greys and things like that and hang little potion bottles it might be quite nice for potion bottles so I'll pop that one there this now is this a Cindy or is this a Fleur somebody tell me because basically you wind it up and you let it go and it's off I've got a sewing machine that does that and that's a Fleur doll one. Let me go across. It's really cute. My husband says, does it play music? I went, mm. <laughs> you're, asking, you're asking a lot there. I suspect there are some that did. But this one doesn't. 
So I can pop that down there and turn it off while it's going round and round. A little bit dusty, but just wants a clean. But it doesn't say anything. It just says Japan on the bottom. I'm really not sure because I have got I have got one of these with speakers, and I'm sure that's a Cindy one, but I could be wrong again. So a bit of research for that and a bit of clean up. We've got another little old vintage piece. Love, love, love this. And again, I love how the nails are the handles. <laughs> We've got a mirror missing, but I'm going to have to see if I can get some little, little mirror tile or something. There must be something I can get. That's Or there must be replacement pieces. So Because otherwise, it's solid. Just wants a little bit of a, a buff up, a little bit of a wax perhaps, and then a nice new mirror. And it can go with the actual wardrobe. Oh, there's so many goodies. I was so excited when I was playing, uh, having a look through all this. Now, we have some tiny, tiny furniture here, which I'm not sure what scale we're looking at. Because I have a one, four, I don't know what numbers, higher numbers, smaller it is, isn't it? I always get it wrong way around, 48th, I think it is. And that looks a bit big for that. But then I look at the chairs and things, and I think then they'd be perfect for the little Ari dolls. So I think maybe that could go with that. I'm not sure about those. But again, we'll just have to have a play, won't we? A couple of dog beds, which are cute. And um, we have a really old little bed here, very simply made. Just look at that. But again, goes with the wardrobe. So I just need to make a new, a new bit of bed in there because obviously that's got a little bit worn. Now where we're we going? Little old fireplace. Oh, I just absolutely love some of this vintage stuff. I'm not quite sure that half circle is there. I'll have to have a go. So that might, if I get the doll's house, I will keep it. Little television set. Not sure what to do with it. It is solid. It is good. But this is quite badly damaged it looks like somebody sort of popped a bit of oh dear i've just made it worse popped a bit of seller tape on it wondering if you can get a printable perhaps to pop on there please let me know if there's any of this because i just get giddy and buy things but then i actually know nothing about the history of them no idea what that is uh, it says underneath red box toys it doesn't seem to fit any proportion so i've no idea where that's going did like this though now it's in pink and it looks sort of the same sort of era, the way it's made. And we've got this gorgeous little thing. Again, slight chip on the mirror, so I might want to replace the mirror because I like that one. I think that one's going to be a door upper for me. I'm saying that I was going to actually put some of the bits, clean them up and put some of the bits on eBay. But I don't know if you've noticed, up to now I've said I want everything. So that's not really boding well, is it? We have a little retro sofa. Now, I thought it was broken at first, but it's not. It just wants pushing in into the arm so we've got a little sofa there which is really cute so i've got some nice little cushions i've got some little cross stitch cushions or crochet cushions that i've got now as far as the plastic furniture is concerned it's not something i'm bothered about but it does bring a lot of memories back for me there's loads and loads of bits of plastic furniture because sort of in that sort of 70s era i can remember going to a toy shop um i know i asked my husband could he remember it um because I couldn't remember the name of it. I know where it was. And he says it was Tops, but it was like a department store, sort of like Wilkinson's sort of thing, Wilco's. But there was one section, you went up some stairs, and it was all toys, and it was amazing. But there was a lot of this plastic stuff, and I can remember getting a lot of plastic doll's house furniture and absolutely loving it. But now we look back about the plastic side of it, perhaps it wasn't so great, but it's still got memories. So I have got these little bits, and there's some more chairs here. I don't think I'm going to be keeping these. I think they're a weird scale because they're a little bit too small for Pippa, but then they're too big for the... I might do. They might do. I don't know. I need to have a look. So um, if anyone knows what they are, let me know. I mean, it says West Germany. Again, that shows its age, doesn't it? And I don't know what that... I think that would have been a table that went with it, but there's no parts for it. Oh, we have some more furniture, which I absolutely love, which I think would be perfect for my little airy doll size then i'm just knocked the door off i knew the door came off because we we had a look the other day and there's a slight break there but that i can sort out that's not a problem again just to clean up i don't know i sort of like this wooden one but then this set of furniture came and i thought that might be better for the airy dolls because it's a full set we have an oven we have a sink it's a very gaudy colour, but it's really cute. What was that? Is this a fridge? We could say that's like a little fridge. So there's a full kitchen there. That's wonderful. I absolutely love it. And then there's another little full kitchen, which is even tinier. It's even got a pretend little chicken in there. 
again oh we've got two ovens in that one there's two ovens and a sink two sinks there's two sets of kitchens in there so again not quite sure the scale's a little bit out for what i use but it is still lovely really happy with it and then we have a little selection of odd bits and bobs so little plates are always great so say i do have a little cafeteria there love this little sweeper i can remember actually a while back because i was doing our rug in the front room and i had to get the hoover out and i'm like oh I really can't be bothered to get the hoover out and i happened to say to my son oh i really could do with um i just said what it is carpet sweeper and it looks at me like i'm daft because you can still get them and i'm like oh it's just to sort of get bits off i said you know sort of like a pushing hoover but not electric sort of thing <laughs> he was still looking at me like i'd gone mad but yeah there's some bits in there this hoover unfortunately has got its top broken off but there's some little bottles or jars i could paint them up and perhaps put them on the shelves for my witches some potions and things like that little tiny spoons which they look very cindy-esque i can remember i did have a set of that um it just says made in hong kong so i can't really tell what they are but i like i love the carpet sweeper i think that's great sort of for sort of yeah, I think it would do pipper size. I think it's 12 scale. So we've got all those little bits and accessories there. So this was my exciting box. Some of you probably think I'm absolutely barking buying it. And as much as I said I was going to put, I was going to clean it up and sell some of it on, it looks like I'm going to be keeping quite a lot of it. There are some duplicates though. It's like we've got duplicates here. And there's also two chest of drawers like that. So I might, these are really cute. And they're in very, very good condition as well. They are built from the result of the other pieces. They are solid. They don't open up or anything like that. But they are really cute. And they make great decorations. Oh, we've lost a leg. I hope the leg's in the... If not, if we've lost a leg and I did sell them, I'd probably sell the one with the legs and I'll take the legs off that one and have it as a different sort of cupboard because I don't like, I won't sort of pass on things that are broken unless it's something I can't do anything about, but I know somebody else could. So I'll put, obviously need some TLC or I'll take a photograph of where the damage is because I think it's very unfair to sell things that are damaged, which does happen. So I think that is pretty cool haul. Still don't know what that is. So we'll pop all this back. I've got a lot of painting to do. Oh, I've got so much to do. I've had, yeah, a funny week because uh, I fell over on Monday. So I've got a damaged knee at the moment, uh, which I had to go and have an x-ray, etc. But it's not broken, thankfully. It's just tendon damage, but uh, it will heal. But it's going to take a while, that's all. So I'm really pleased with that. So we have that. We have our Barbies. Yes, two Barbies. And we have our Cindy Camper accessories so i'm really pleased even though i went in there thinking there was nothing because as i say out of 400 stalls there was about five but it was worth it for those five i wish there was more sort of doll collector items out there i don't know where are they hiding are they all going on ebay i don't know possibly because people are realizing there's a value to them but there's a value to all the trains and the cars and everything in fact some of them are very big value so i'm just surprised there isn't more i think it's building up but it's a very slow process so anyway i hope you got to the end of the video with me there quite a long video if you have thank you very much for sticking with me hope you enjoyed looking at all the little bits and bobs i'm going to take some photos now to do the thumbnails for my video and i will see you all very soon please look out for some of the videos i'm going to be doing when i get up to the allotment when it's not going to it's going to rain i know it is it's very black out there at the moment and um, the sky the clouds are coming in fast and it looks very dull in fact i'm not so sure it might actually already be raining never mind right so i'm going to leave you with that if you enjoy my videos i know i've rambled a bit today Today. please like subscribe and share we have some cindy crochet coming up next that'll be the next video on the run and i've got some i think i'm going for a penguin theme next week so we're gonna have penguin themed crochet and we also have a little national geographic barbie because i've suddenly become a barbie collector anyway see you all for now and i'll be back very soon bye bye for now